Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You know, when I was young and starting working out, I was the same as everyone else. I was aimless, I was lost. So I started doing what most people do when they start working out. I started watching things on YouTube, started listening to podcasts, looking up influencers online. But you know, when I first started dabbling in fitness in around 2012, there was a whole lot less noise than there is now. Far fewer voices to listen to. You know, with TikTok and Instagram where they are now, it's hard to know what is just noise and what is not. Tobias Harris, forward for the 76ers, recently tweeted, one of the most expensive mistakes you can make is paying attention to the wrong people. In this week's video, I've compiled a list of all the fitness influencers you should be listening to in the industry right now and from the past. These are in alphabetical order. They're not in order of significance. If the creators have current YouTube channels, I will link those in the description below. The first on the list is Alpha Destiny. Alex is intent on discussing health, nutrition, and special training methods. His delivery is simple and his channel is incredibly helpful. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold has a lot of content outside of the usual normal things like pumping iron. I suggest just looking him up and doing a, a lot of research on him. The thing I like the most about Arnold is that he really embodies what it means to be passionate about fitness and to just love working out. Charles Glass, known affectionately as the godfather of bodybuilding, Charles's 40 plus years of experience will simply blow your mind. No one knows how to manipulate muscle fibers like he does. Derek from More Plates, More Dates. I will say this was not one of my early influences, but I definitely listen to him a lot now. Derek is really fun to listen to while also putting an incredible amount of research in before he makes his videos. His dedication to speaking the truth is something that every influencer should strive for. Elliot Hulse. Now, Elliot is one of my first inspirations in the gym. He is truly a man's man. He carries himself in a way that every man should want to carry themselves. Elliot has developed a lot over the years, but never ever wavered from his commitment to bettering himself and bettering others. Greg Doucette, another example of someone who's very, very well equipped to say what they say. Um, not only an IFBB pro bodybuilder, but he also has his degree in kinesiology and he has his own cookbook. He's just an absolute wealth of knowledge and definitely worth looking up. Another Greg, Greg Plitt. Greg Plitt was truly my first inspiration in the gym. I listened to Greg every single day while I was in the gym. He had such a huge influence on the internet even before he tragically passed away in 2015. You can find hours of podcasts, interviews, webinars, if you just do a little bit of digging. No one, absolutely no one has had a greater influence on me than Greg Plitt. Hanny Rambod, hands down the best trainer that is currently in bodybuilding, in my opinion. He's won 19 Olympia titles with his athletes and for good reason. Jeff Nippard. Now, if I had to put someone at the absolute top of this list, Jeff would be there. Jeff's attention to detail in his content creation is second to none. Canadian natural pro bodybuilder, internationally qualified powerlifter, and with his bachelor's in biochemistry, I never don't learn something from Jeff. Now, last but not least, I had to add him to this list. Again, this is someone who was not an influence for me early on, but I definitely have been listening to a lot of his stuff recently. Even with passing away, his voice still carries out far beyond most influencers that are alive today. John Meadows, one of the most humble trainers that you will ever come across. He truly, truly cared most about bettering other people, not putting himself first, but putting his athletes first. I've noticed that his page on YouTube is actually still active even after his passing. I highly recommend going through his page and just listening to as much of him as you can. And of course, there's me. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. If you have a favorite influencer or creator that didn't make the list, feel free to jump down into the comments and let me know who they are. I'd love to check them out. If you like the video, please show some love for the algorithm and click that like button. It's free. I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. I will see you next Friday.